Hello, this is Ohio University Mechanical Engineering Senior Design Team 3-5. This is our concept for a water level indicator of low cost for Ghana to use on their water tanks. Here we're showing two concepts that will cover two varieties of basically applications they have. Um, the one you're seeing on top is used for in attics where they are already using this overflow valve to basically exit overflow from being in their attic. This is our replication of the overflow valve that already exists in the tanks in Ghana already. And um, as you can see, we're just running our fishing line here through this overflow valve. Versus on this top one here, this is replicating an at attic tank where we drilled a hole and placed a fitting into the lid to run this excess piece of PVC to redirect the line off the side of the tank. Both of these concepts are connected using fishing line or in this case we have homemade plastic line which can be made out of plastic bottles very easily. And the whole entire concept system works with two weights. So in the inside there is a bottle consisting of about half full full of water along with some rocks to use as counterweight to keep the bottle upright and then connected on the outside is a lighter counterweight in this case just a stick will work we are using a heavier stick with the plastic line made from plastic bottles and also because it is running on a few more bends here to help overcome the friction that is associated with that concept um, this one right here is a lighter stick because the fishing line has a pretty low friction as it is and it's just going through one valve here. It is important to remember that the counterweight on the outside needs to be of lesser weight than the bottle on the inside. And that is pretty much all of how this is created. Now we're going to move into the setup portion. So to set up the level at which you're going to be using your tank at to set the max and the minimum values for your tank. First you're going to take your bottle, you're going to insert it into the tank with the string attached and either thread it up through your port on the outside or through your lid that you would be using in the attic. You could either start with your water at your, its highest value or its lowest value. In this scenario we're going to be starting with the tank at its lowest value. So what we're going to be doing here is attaching the stick at the lowest value which in this case our scale runs as the bottle moves up the tank it will go down so our maximum value is at the very bottom and our lowest value is at the very top so we're attaching the, our counterweight stick on the outside here at the lowest value point to indicate the lowest value in the tank and we are marking it accordingly on our scale wherever our scale may be the next step you're going to want to do is obviously fill your tank up to the maximum value Now, once the tank is full at its maximum level, mark the max level at the bottom of the indication. So now you'll have a max line and your minimum line. So here we present a video time lapse of the tank as we are siphoning out the water at a rate very similar to what they will be using the water in Ghana from the tank. As you can see, the stick slowly rises in both scenarios, both cases here showing the change from the maximum value at the very bottom to the minimum value. And then vice versa, as we add water, the stick will lower back down to the maximum value. And overall, that is our concept design system for a low budget water level indicator to be used in Ghana. This could also probably be used in many other applications where a fluid level indicator is needed. Thank you for watching.